Let's see, tonight in our reading of Parable of the Sower by Octavia E. Butler, we'll be going over chapters 12 through 14. Very, <laughs> yes, yeah, thank you. The very, uh, things start to change. <laughs> That's where I'll start. Yeah. So, um, can I have a volunteer who feels like reading uh, the summary? I'd like to do that. All right, thank you, Kim. Summary. Lauren continues to see the unra unraveling of her small community. Joanne Garfield and her family accepted employment with KSF and prepared to leave for the privatized city of Olivar. Reverend Olamina is, Reverend Olamina is goes missing. One morning on the way back from work, Lauren and her brother Marcus go out in a group to search everywhere for their father, but find only rotting corpses, wild dogs, and the dismembered arm of a very unfortunate black man. Lauren takes her father's place in the pulpit, pulpit preaching a sermon about perseverance, but realizes later that she is preaching not only her father's funeral, but the communities as well. Resisting Curtis's offer to marry her and leave Robello, Ro I'm sorry. Robledo. Robledo, thank you. Lauren continues to struggle with her feelings of responsibility towards Corey and her brothers. The community is attacked by arsonists and thieves. A, fam a family is dead, leaving one survivor. They attempt to regroup and persevere. But devastation comes at the hands of drug crazy paints and the scavenging homeless. Most of the families have been murdered, women and children raped, houses burned. Lauren, what the Zara, Moses, mm -hmm. Harry Butler, and only a handful of others managed to escape. All right. Thank you, Kim. You're 